Okay, uh, yeah, we're rebuilding the Jag now with a 2J in it, but the first job to do is the bodywork. So you can see, is that a slight smash down the side? I've already done some of the work, we didn't film it though, but I'm going to show you sort of what we've done. I managed to take the skin off of the frame and save the frame because it's not worth repairing the skin. Like the whole art. frame is a bit damaged, but I managed to straighten it all out and just wheel up a new. A new door skin and wrap it all around and then remove the old seal because that took in the same accident it's all flattened off and it's not worth repairing that'll go on the wall somewhere um, and we bought a new you get new seals we've done that made a new triangle piece so it looks like the lightweight now will go up on there finish that off other than that we've done the back wings because they were all smashed in. You might remember this had a big sticker on there where the wheel snapped the wheel studs off when we were drag racing and the wheel hit. That wheel came off and come round and smashed into this side. Um, just trying to strain it all back up and get it ready for primer. Just going to let up the joints between the seals and the in the wings is what they would have done back in the factory it's just a bit better than, than using filler because it will flex with the car uh, this one more rigid anyway due to the cage so it doesn't particularly need that much lead in there so it shouldn't flex once well, you've got enough on there like that you just use the paddle this is just to stop the paddle sticking and pulling it all out and gripping on the lead just slowly warm it up and push it in to where you want it to uh, seal, really. And what I'll do for that, I'll do the front joint and then we'll file it down. This is some tinning paste, and then we'll heat it up with the oxy, and you'll see it change to like a gold, bronzy gold colour. That just makes the lead stick to the panel. If, it's not, if you haven't done that, you'll be able to just hit the lead off, not just fall off, basically. If something's not tinned, like that lead on the floor, there where it's dropped on the floor. It's a piece of lead. It doesn't stick to anything. You just heat it up, you'll see it change when you need to wipe it off. Try not to drop so much on the floor this time. We don't need too much on this joint it's quite shallow, I like the one on the back. There we go, that'll do for that. Next step, we're going to file it all back down and shape it up. We've done some lead filling on the joints on the E-type, so I'm going to let that cool down and we'll file it down. But I've got another E-type over here we can show. The sort of factory joints they would have had on a coupe where they joined the roof to the back wing up there, that would have been lead filled. And this, we had a horrible repair, but that's the joint that we've just filled on the racy type. And there would have been one on the front, and then again at the top, the front bulkhead joints, two there, one down at the bottom of the wing, and then the roasters, they would have been lead filled on the rear, the scuttle panel, top and bottom, lead filled over. That's just how they, how they made them then. And we still see a little bit of lead where this one's been in an acid bath and it started taking the lead out. So that's basically what we've just done. So I'm going to go and file it all down now and shape it up and it'll look a lot, a lot nicer. Just filing the lead down with the bastard file. This one's on a quite a cool holder so you can open it or shorten it depending if you're going like around the curve or anything like that. Uh, Stan said I have to say that. Filed back now, so it's pretty much the shape we want. Kept the lead quite small on this. I'd normally go a little bit wider so you've got more to sort of feather it in. So I don't want to put too much in this because it's quite heavy. That's not what we want. Do the last little bit with the DA.
clean up around the two edges there to square them off. And that'll be that done. now because we're only putting a bit of epoxy on it so it's nothing too crazy it's a faster way of masking normally if we go into the paint stage we'll paper it stop any dust coming off yeah so that's pretty much ready now we'll mix up some epoxy and get it on this is the epoxy that we'll put on seal it all in give it a bake off We'll probably end up doing the inside first with the silver and then we'll prime it, finish off the outside after. Get your act together. Come hey, me. It's because we got to eat. We got to eat. Hey, give me the sausage. Hey, give me the sausage. I'll slap that bugger. I'll slap the bloody look off your face. You're a bloody bugger. You're. Come prime this gun. fucking. Let's get some water in there. Let's get some water in there. Yeah. Come on, then. Let's have a look at Get my tap off. This wing wasn't feeling very nice, so I'm just going to sling another coat of poly on the bugger. Jag in the booth now. We're just going to do the inside. We've modified the inside a few bits. We've put some harness points in for a six point. 
also raised the rear bulkhead a little bit for the fuel tank. When we first built the car, we never had a fuel sender in there, and that was just getting in the way. If you've ever seen us try and put it in before, it takes a kick on the back. A little bit on the inside of the boot, around the chassis legs, a couple of repairs we've done. Bulkhead, you've probably seen already. Changed a few little bits on that, so we're gonna drive that. Do the insides of the doors, because one of them's got a new skin completely. And then the front A frame and picture frame notched it there. You'll be able to see once we put the engine back in why this is notched. And we put this extra uh, bar back in here, so that'll all become clear. New tags on the bottom because so we've ripped the bottom arm out before when we're at angle C. We've got new tags. Uh, we've gone to spray it up now with some epoxy. I'll wet and wet our epoxy at first, and we'll get some silver on there. Then build it back up. And Get the front suspension and finish the bonnet, make the bonnet, so that'll be the next stage. painted all the bits now into silver, lacquered them, so we can put the frames back on and we can get the car rolling. We've done the bulkhead like we saw, done the inside, boot underneath. So we need to get the car out and get that bolted together. Once it's down on the ground, Bobby's going to get all the back axle in, we're going to get the front A frames back on. We need to set the car at ride height so we can then work on doing the bonnet. Um, we bought the upper section but we need to make the wings. So we're going to go out, we're going to cut the lids off a load of Thatcher's cans, roll them all out, weld them together, and make the wings. So tune in to the next episode, and you can see how we're going to do it. And remember, like and subscribe.